24% of Florida's children live in poverty. You will find families where their decision is between putting food on the table and buying school supplies for their children. Our slogan for Hope Now is serve, lead, and inspire. And how we accomplish that is through bringing together a total of 900 volunteers to go ahead and volunteer and serve over 10,000 children. For us, it helps us because we're able to get what we need knowing that he's going to be set, knowing that he's going to be happy with everything. I'm the only one that can work because of my son's medical and every year being able to find school supplies, it becomes a challenge. We thank you guys for doing this. This is something that from the bottom of our hearts that we truly appreciate. Thank you very much. Everybody has a story, and everybody is here for a reason. The reason why we're here this year is because I lost a co-parent of mine in the post-tragedy, and we actually wasn't expecting to need help this year. But thank goodness that you do this every year, because if you didn't, I don't know what I would, I actually don't know what I would do. With you all offering this help, it actually just lift a burden off my shoulders with some of the school supplies that I need for the children. The event today is a result of uh, many days and hours of countless volunteers who have put together their time and energy to be able to serve children and families in our community in preparation for the first day of the school of the kids. This event is run by volunteers only, so it's a matter of contribution. It's coming from a place of abundance and of grace and gratitude. Uh, everyone donates their time, their resources, and more than anything, their desire to help others. I think that one of the most powerful uh, testimonials that I have heard is from families who in previous years have received services, but then, this year, they come back as volunteers, and that's very encouraging. We're blessed to be able to provide this to people. And we firmly believe, all the members of our board, that giving is more joyful than receiving. Every single dollar that's raised goes to the kids. No management fees, no salaries. We are constantly in need of more volunteers and more donations because the need is greater than what we can handle. And we've been able to meet our budget every single year, uh, including this year, thank God, because there are a lot of generous folks still out there that believe in doing good for the community. We had over 15 representatives from the Orlando Police Department here and numerous firefighters. Those folks didn't have to be here, they volunteered their time to go ahead and be a part of this event. Oh, we were contacted by uh, Hope Now uh, to come out and assist to ensure safety, first and foremost, as police officers, but also it's important to, to show that we're part of the community too, and with us being a part of that, and showing that we're there to help support them, uh, to be there if they need something. I, I think it's, it's a big plus. All of our officers, that's pretty much what we like to do, uh, to instill hope and, and uh, change and make things better in the community. We all work together to provide fluoride uh, and dental screenings for children that attend the Back to School Bash that are seeking the free backpacks and school supplies. And we offer free screenings and fluoride to try and give them a, a head start toward their school year with a good oral health. 
It's a very, very rewarding experience to be able to participate in an event like this and help um, serve children who may not have access to these types of services. I've done it before and I know how much fun it is and all the ones that came this time that had not volunteered before said please let me know next year I want to come back and you, you get much more than you give back. I was actually the tooth fairy and I stood out in the hallway um, directing people to come into the dental unit. I had a great time, it was well organized, um, great event to come to and be able to meet lots of people that really need help. Today we've brought dozens of stylists and barbers to work together to bring hundreds of haircuts to our community to make a difference and to give back and that's what it's all about. It's a custom haircut, it's not something that their mom can do at home with just a straight buzz cut. It's something that we're catering to them and they're leaving feeling amazing to start the school year. If kids can't see, they can't learn, but some kids who are not always in an academic setting, depending on if they're nearsighted or farsighted, they may not experience that feeling of I can't see until they sit down in a classroom. Primarily what we're dealing with is kids three and older. Uh, they're here to get vision screened in order to take those forms back to their school to get ahead of the game uh, in order if they need a vision uh, rescreen that they can do that at the school or be referred to the health department. At Hope Now International, there's no requirement that you belong to any certain sect, denomination, religion, political party, or persuasion at all. People from all different backgrounds, all different religions, can come together out of love for God and serve their fellow man without hesitation and with unity, and not ask for anything in return. Our commitment is to making sure that we love our fellow volunteer in the same way. Volunteers will come to me afterwards privately and just say that their faith has been renewed, that now they're inspired to go ahead and pray to God more, to go ahead and read the Bible, and to not only be at our event, but to go out in the community and do the same thing and love their neighbors. There's a change in our community. There's a change where people are not just wanting to go ahead and write a check, but they also want to go ahead and be a part of the movement. They want to roll up their sleeves and be a part of the action that's happening to make the change. So what do we ask for? We ask for your heart. We know if your heart is committed, you'll commit your action in time. Those finances might come along as well, but we really want you to be a part of what we're doing in a personal way.